What is the role of compliments in friendships? That is the topic for discussion. Welcome to Making It Last podcast. I'm your host, Noreen Daly. And with me this time around is my friend, Roxanne White. Welcome. Thank you for having me. What is the role of compliments in friendships, Roxanne? The role of compliments in friendships. First of all, I think having a friend who compliments you just makes you want to be around that friend more. So that in and of itself is relationship building, bonding. Um, when you're around a person who has that kind of energy, you want to constantly expose yourself to that energy. So that's definitely one. Also, there are some things that your friend will say to you that will have a different effect than if somebody else said it. For example, I recently cut my hair, all right? And my best friend, Mel, Mel, she knew I was going to cut my hair. Okay. And she complimented me when she saw the picture. She's like, wow. But then when she saw me in person, she took off the glasses that I had and she fixed my hair. And she's like, I can see your face more. The cut just brings out your face. But feel, but they feel like my dip on pulls run away. So I just walked and I turned and I did a little spin and I just felt <laughs> I felt what they call the happy uh, the happy hormones. What's that like dopamine or some some? Don't don't, don't do that. Okay, <laughs> those hormones, right? Those hormones, mm. the happy hormones. I just felt a flood of them. It's like there was just this boost of confidence as well. Because um, there are just some things that your friend says to you and compliments you about that even though so many other persons would have said, I like your hair, it fits you. But just mm-hmm. having that come from my friend, especially my best friend, it just did so much wonders. Like, builds yourself confidence. I talked about the bonding. Mm-hmm. Um, what else must I already? What else did I say? You t- spoke about the bonding mm-hmm. and you gave the example and you said it about the happy yeah, um, it it just makes you feel happy. And puts basically puts you on a high. Puts you on a high and you stay on a high for a while, especially if, if this is a friend who doesn't necessarily wait on a special occasion to, to give do you, that. To do that. It could simply be a situation came up and I say, I appreciate how strong you were in this situation. Or you know you look nice. You didn't dress up because you're going to a banquet mm-hmm, or you're going mm-hmm, to an award mm-hmm, ceremony. Mm-hmm, it's just mm-hmm. like your color coordination the morning you got up and they just complimented you on how you look. So it, it, it really does a lot when your friend gives you a really awesome compliment. What about some people who find it? Well, yeah, let me let me let me take it one way first. Who find it difficult to accept compliments? Hmm. That one is kind of <laughs> tough because, you know, there are some persons who give give compliments, mm-hmm. but the way they do it and the fact that they don't usually give it is okay. like when they do give it, it seems like an insult. Okay. okay. Like you ever have that friend that were never complimented yet and one, one day they come and they you look nice, eh? You look really nice and you wonder, are you being sarcastic right now? Are, no? <laughs> are, are you, you being genuine? genuinely mm-hmm. saying, I mm-hmm. look nice? And if they're not from an environment where compliments are the norm, mm-hmm. it may be difficult for them to actually accept that what this person is saying mm-hmm. is, is, how, actually. is actually true or mm-hmm. how they actually feel about it. Especially if the facial expressions don't really match what is being said. Somebody ever tell you yeah a compliment but them face I said the total says opposite. It's total different. So we need to ensure that what we're saying actually matches right. with with our nonverbals. What about those 
who find it difficult to give compliments? Well, them, them future does. <laughs> <laughs> Their present, their present is so, uh, and their future might be so, if they don't give compliments. So, so what? Tell, tell, she's she's doing something with her hands, which you're not able to see. So I'd like her to um, verbalize what that I, I'm, means. I'm, I'm trying. I'm yes, trying. I'm, you, you I'm really. That. I'm really trying mm-hmm. to put it into words. Yes. You don't. Why would you not want to give a compliment? I mean, when somebody gives you a compliment mm-hmm. and you see. You see how genuine they are, and you mm-hmm. think about how you feel. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't you want to extend that to somebody else? Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with the book, The Go Giver, but there is a a law in the book. Mm-hmm. The the law of was it receptivity? You give, and you also receive. Receive. Like without giving, there's no receiving. Without receiving, there's no No giving. And if I can be complimented and feel so awesome and I have people in my life who I want to add value to. Oh, it was a lot of value that I wanted to remember that you give more in value than you get back. Okay. Yes. So you have gotten a compliment from somebody. Probably probably was just once in your life, but you still got it. Mm -hmm. Why not allow somebody else to experience the feeling of knowing that here is somebody who sees me, thinks I look good, or they like something about me, and they actually said it. Why scatter roses when somebody's gone? Because yeah. th- those are usually mm. times when people give compliments. When they would have died and can't, and can't hear, hear it, or they left a particular organization or district or mm-hmm, community mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. something major, or... Mm-hmm. Um, they finally make it on a big platform and that is the time you crawl out of your, mm, your mm, little car mm, and be like, mm. you know, I always knew you had it in you. And what? No, that that not nice. <laughs> that not nice at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well you, you've said, we, so we've spoken about just, the, well, the ro- role of, of compliments in friendships, how difficult it is to sometimes accept, sometimes how difficult it is to give how then do you ensure that, that that you strike that balance? Because some people are saying, but if I continue giving compliments to this friend, then I end up becoming arrogant, becoming conceited. Mm-hmm. How then do you strike the balance to make sure that it doesn't all get to somebody's head? A large mm-hmm. part of it is knowing who the person is. Because I'd like to think that if you're in a friendship with somebody, mm-hmm. you would spend enough time to... Notice the things they respond to, um, character traits that they may have mm-hmm. that lends itself to the occurrence of certain things like becoming prideful and right, all of that. Right. So you having been in this friendship for a while, observing your friend, knowing what triggers them to be prideful or whatever mm-hmm, like that, mm-hmm. you then give compliments at intervals. For example, like oh, they'd encourage you to punish your children or reward them mm-hmm, at intervals mm-hmm, so that they don't mm-hmm, come to expect mm-hmm. it all right, the time. Right, yeah, right. Um, do it same in, principle applies. Same principle applies, really. And um, also, there are different ways to compliment somebody. Such the, as? Well, I, let me... The best way to, to explain this is to mm-hmm. talk about what happens in my friendship mm-hmm. with like my be- best friend. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes I'll wake up or I'll come out of a, a session from work or something mm-hmm. and I see a smiley face. Ah. Right. Sometimes it's a voice note. Sometimes it's a, a picture and on the picture she does... Because, you know, WhatsApp allows you to... Select the pen icon and write, write something. Sometimes mm-hmm. it's that. Sometimes she'll find a song and send the song and say, you know, I heard the song and I thought of you. So she uses different different, uh, different approaches and, and it's it's quite effective. Cause I know I have a, a slight tendency of being a little bit prideful sometimes and yeah, so she knows how to balance it. Balance it. Okay. Using a different, okay. and she doesn't use the same approach for each sit for situations with a similar theme. Okay, she just really mixes it up. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you said that because some people might be listening and thinking, okay, so in giving a compliment, it means that I need to ensure that I do something and Mm-mm. that doing Mm-mm. might mean money that I no, don't have. No, no, no. Okay. So yeah. it means you can be creative and just be very personal. Yeah, be, with... be very personal. Because as I say, it's a, a part of relationship building now. And you you know your friend. And if it's a case where you're just getting to, to know somebody, observing the little things that they respond to mm-hmm. is very, very important. You can also pay attention to how they react when somebody else compliments them whether it is a random stranger or mm-hmm. somebody in their mm-hmm. family mm-hmm. Um, when you do that then it gives you a better idea or a starting point as to how you proceed in terms of building this friendship and using compliments and stuff like that somebody's listening and saying yeah this is all well and good but if if there's one practical tip you'd want to leave with our listeners, what would that be? One practical tip in terms of... Just in terms of compliment giving and just how important it is in maintaining a friendship. Oh, uh, one practical tip that I would give is to start small. Um, In giving compliments, persons often think that they have to come up with something that totally blows somebody's mind. It, it doesn't have to be like that. Start small. Say if you realize that this person spends a lot of time on their hair, uh. you, you make it a point of duty to compliment their hair when they do a new hairstyle. If it's somebody who's into shoes, mm-hmm. if they get a new shoes, you compliment them about the shoes and probably ask them questions about it. Don't ask them how much they pay for the shoes and who get who <laughs> give it to them. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, mm-hmm. compliment them on the shoes. Just start small. Pay attention. Pay attention, attention. to the things that they respond to. And um, if they're complimented in a particular way, because everybody everybody's approach to compliments are different. Mm-hmm. And you might be complimented through an emoji but if you don't understand what the emoji, emoji means, means then it totally takes away yeah. from what the compliment is so one pay attention to the things that mm-hmm, they like mm-hmm. two start small and you're giving more than one but that's fine yeah, go ahead yeah. and mm-hmm. and three be okay with the fact that there are things about you that people will like enough to want to mention to you and compliment you on. Um, I know for some persons, they, they may, you, you may have encountered situations in which somebody gave you a compliment right before some act of disappointment mm-hmm. or abuse or something like that. But understand that everyone is not the same and you can, you can pretty much pick up on a person's motives mm-hmm. based on what they do and what follows what they do so those are some things i'd suggest thank you so much roxanne you said a lot but if 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 we're 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 closing but if as a listener you're saying yeah i got all of that but roxanne just reminded us if you got nothing else start small and what i'm going to add to that is that when you do get the compliments accept the compliments That's graciously true. yes we graciously <laughs> graciously <laughs> yeah we spoke about the role of what is the role of compliments in friendships because this podcast is all about helping you to have better relationships not just with ourselves but with other people thanks again roxanne this is Noreen daily saying loving until me. next time i love you mothers and fathers Husbands and wives, sisters and brothers, friends for life won't live in the past. All I wanna do now is making it last.